This is a game of fantasy, exploration, and adventure where different characters battle among themselves to become king. This is Armello, and this is Legendary Tactics. So this time we're going to continue with the prologue. Uh, last time we covered parts one and two, and now we're going to move on to uh, part three, a rabbit's quest. And this looks like it could be very dramatic. Um, actually, I kind of like the idea of the storytelling um, from the different perspectives here. It's kind of a, a neat way to learn the game. And uh, so the king says, traitors and spies abound. I've been lenient for far too long. Well, something's changed with him anyway. This is how I'm repaid by the very clans I united. You forced me to take drastic measures. This should be interesting. Yes, it should be. So... <laughs> wow, okay, release all the prisoners of the crown. <clears throat> so that's kind of an interesting uh, an interesting thing. It's, it's, I really like how this app is, is uh, put together, or this uh, digital edition has been put together. It's really uh, quite a fun, a fun way to, to, to learn this game and to um, you know to play this, uh, this kind of game. So uh, Lady Amber. So that would be uh, the rabbit, I assume. Uh, we grant you, far seeker, and wish you well on your travels. It's with a heavy heart that we bring dire news. The king has cast aside the council of the rabbit clan. We no longer have his ear, and the realm suffers for it. A le as a legend throughout Armello, we ask that you consolidate your prestige and regain the king's trust. We can still calm the situation before it escalates. Okay, well, let's hope so. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going... Uh, Oh, we guess we can't go on treasure hunt. Uh, we can't go treasure hunting. We got other fish to fry. Um, but maybe we can search a dungeon or two. So, all right. So Lady Amber, Tomb Raider. So that's kind of interesting. So this is where perhaps the dungeon crawler aspect uh, comes in. I, I, I felt from the beginning this is, you know, in a way similar to, um, to Mage Knight maybe or, uh, you know, any one of those uh, fantasy dungeon crawling games. So, um I'm uh, I'm kind of excited to try that. That'd be neat, especially if they if they fill out the uh, the dungeons. Um, you know, as I said, I haven't seen this yet, so I'm hoping they fill out the dungeons and um, give us a dungeon crawler exploration kind of experience. So we'll build influence by exploring and seeking out treasures and followers. Well, that sounds fine. So let us do the living history quest because it's the only one available. Um, we've added a new trait. This is spirit. It measures how attuned you are to the magical energies in our mellow. And it's a spirit quest. Increasing your spirit will allow you to cast more powerful spells and increase your spell range. All right, so that's cool. Well, I guess we don't really have a choice, so let's take it. A bard, a chance of treasure, and po probably danger as well. I might just stay outside if that's okay. Sure, I don't care. I've heard that there's some strange old magic at work in there. Then again, you've got strange magic yourself. All right, this is some of our strange magic. We have uh, focus, so plus two spirit until the end of next turn. Costs three uh, gold, I believe, um, but um, that could be handy. Or sorry, it costs magic to play. Sorry, I was wondering about that symbol. And it uh, costs three magic, but it gives me two spirit. And uh, it's magic uh, is used to play spell cards and refilled every day at dusk. And your spirit determines how far you can play the spell cards. So just like action points, I guess. So you should focus your magic. It will help you in, your, in the quest ahead. Okay. So we're going to drop focus on ourselves. And that uses up our, our uh, magic here. But we get more spirit. We're up to six spirit, which is gonna, probably going to be handy. So... All right, let's start walking. Nothing there. And now we're in Bra Broken Lair Dungeon. Okay, so just gonna handle it with a coin toss, um, I guess. Uh, represents your chance of finding particular rewards or dangers. We're gonna see what we come up with and we get some gold back, so that's sweet. As you search the dungeon, you're drawn towards a strange light. It's the bard floating asleep in a bubble of errant magic. So, do we pull her down? Get a spirit and a prestige. No test required. 
However, if we banish the magic, we actually get to keep the bard. Well, we got a 60% chance um, because our spirit is at six. And this uh, here, as you can see, the flame at the bottom of the card there, um, it tests spirit. Uh, so, you know, we lose one prestige. That's the only downside. Um, so why not? Let's give her a go. And we got it. So we gain the bard as a as a follower. So quick wave of the hand and the glow fades. The bard falls, hitting the ground with a loud thud. She wakes up quick. I'm sure she did. So um, that is great. Well, plus one prestige when you successfully escape a peril. And she doesn't cost anything to uh, do. I guess we can't equip quite yet. Can we? Well, maybe we can. Yep. Add her to the party. Perfect. And we're going to end our turn. So the mal magic is uh, balanced to match your spirit at dusk. So we go up to seven magic to spend, which is very handy. Oh, bit of a battle going on here. Ah, geez. Mercurio is running away from a, b a battle with Thane. Mercurio has the highest prestige of any hero. This makes him the prestige leader. Okay. Oh, well, good to know. So clan rivalries have come to a head. Uh, representatives from the Rat and Wolf Clan are planning a duel. This will break current peace treaties. If you're to regain the King's Ear, you'll need to gain prestige. I know a few ways you could get your name out there again. So this could uh, boost my wits and my prestige um, with that things so we'll see how this goes take that uh, quest there are three core decks there are the three these are the three core decks of our mellow you may draw cards from any deck um, well um, I don't know let's pick an item oh that's the items deck contains weapons armor tools and consumables to join your journey trickery deck full of traps Bruises and political maneuverings is a perfect deck to slow and undermine your opponents. And the spell deck is your source of powerful spells, offensive and defensive buffs and curses. Wits determines the number of cards you draw up to each turn. Okay, that's good to know. So I may only have one card to draw here. Um, I'm going to draw the spell because I'm intrigued by um, this character's ability to cast spells. So plus one action point for the next two turns at the cost of three magic. That is very handy. Um, so, oh, we got to travel to our next quest. Where are we headed now? Uh, where's my my guy? Oh, wow, it's very dark. Um, where am I headed? Um, I'm not too sure. Let's go in here. Ooh, there's a peril. So burn cards or roll dice to match symbols. I got four die. Uh, all right, welcoming party. Exile to the nearest unoccupied mountain and turn ends immediately cost us you. Okay, well, we'll just roll. We'll see what happens here. Maybe we'll get lucky. We got one. We got one. Oh, shoot. We get a reroll. And nothing happens. So, yeah, we get pummeled. All right, well. We got uh, pummeled a bit there, so day two. And I need to, tr I'm trying to recall where I'm going. So the king calls Mercurio from the rat clan to his side. Curse it. Look, Mercurio has the king's ear. As prestige leader, he has a say in which laws the king enforces. Oh, that's neat. We need to, we need more prestige than him to gain the prestige lead and reaffirm the rabbit's clan, uh, clan's position. Slaying other heroes, completing quests and playing trickery cards are reliable ways to earn prestige. Okay. So we need to get more than that. So, oh boy. So Mercurio got him to terrorize a local settlement. All right. That's interesting. Terrorized settlements lose their allegiance to any hero or clan and won't generate any income. Rescuing a ter terrorized settlement will restore peace and order, earning the hero plus one prestige. Well, there's an opportunity. Wow, ah, they're doing a lot of damage. So there's Thane. He's gonna deal with that peril and 
Oh, he does? Oh, and I guess he gets some, some money. He's been running around there. Mercurio is walking through the swamp and he heals up. And, all right. So, now, could I possibly... Um, I gotta get to be prestige leader. So, let's walk through here. We'll take that for ourselves. And we're gonna attack Mercurio and hopefully we can take him out. Um, we don't have a lot of attack die. He has got five and we've got four. Let's see where we end up here. Jeez. Oh my gosh. He is crushing us. Oh, I blocked all of them. Oh, jeez. That was not... That was not good. We lost a lot of health. Oh, boy. Not a fighter. Um, oh, jeez. Got only one action point left. Well, let's go hide in here. <laughs> so we can't be seen. Uh, I'm not playing this very well. Let's see. But we have so we're hidden there at least. Maybe Mercurio will, will lose track of us. And he takes our city away from us. Huh. Well, I don't know if I'm going to win this by uh, by getting a lot of... Oh, boy. What have I got here? I can claim a, a target settlement. That's okay. Um, hmm. I do have gold. I can equip a lot of stuff. Maybe I, I wasn't paying attention there, maybe. All right, let's, uh, let's equip a couple things here. That should give us a bit more... A bit more ability to, uh, do some damage. Let's see if we can lure Mr. Uh, Mercurio back. We're going to take away his city on him. I don't know if that was a good move, but I'm just experimenting here. And we get magic back at dusk. So I may have wasted my time, my moment here, but you know what? Let's do this and just see if that can help us out. All right, so I want to move here and heal up a bit with this. Um, and I'm gonna go back to hiding here. Ah, that's probably where I want to go. Uh, yeah, that's probably where I wanted to go. Um, I see it now. I see the flag. I was a bit confused as to where I was supposed to head to, but um, that's all right. We'll get there in the end. But Mercurio is still dictating the king's... Oh, jeez. Siphoning uh, magic away from people. Interesting, okay. Now, if I walk through that Terra settlement, I wonder if I can claim it. That would be a good that would be a good deal. Oh, he's gonna take down Mercurio, or at least make him run away. So he's weakened. Which is very good to know. Now he took my thing back. All right, so I'm going to pick up a spell and take a, well, let's take a trickery item because we want to uh, take an item as well. Oh, another sword. I don't know if I can use in that sword, but I'm going to try and load up on trickery cards here. Looks like you're having some trouble, Amber. Here, have some help. Thank you. <laughs> Play Game of Thorn, Thorns to yourself. Steal one prestige from all heroes. Yeah, that's a bit of a help. I'll do that. Uh, that's pretty cool. And become prestige leader. So now, I think... I don't know how we rank the prestige uh, leader. Let's see. Well, that's the hero shelf. I'm just curious to see if I can... Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Now, I'm in much better shape this time to take on uh, Mercurio, and I know he's weak, so I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to walk through the healing place, and then I'm going to jump him and see what we can do. Hopefully, he's still weak from his battle with Thane. Yeah, one health. That's all I need. And now I've got my armor and my sword, and I'm in a little bit better shape. Hopefully, he doesn't get a bunch of defense uh, rolls here, and I get a couple of attack rolls. 
This could be all right. So far, so good. Oh, yes, there we go. And we got some overkill, <laughs> which I presume is a good thing. But there's the prestige. Thank you very much. All right, Amber, now that you're the prestige leader, you just need to hang on to it till next dawn. I'm sure that will likely not be a problem. Um, all right, and... Um, I'm going to run away from Thane because I don't want to attract his attention. Um, let's see. I'm wondering, oh, I don't have any... Oh, I, I don't have enough money, really, to do much else. I don't have any magic, so I guess I'm done my turn. And we'll see if we can hang on to it. But here comes Thane. And he's going to take my city and then attack me. Well, I knew that was coming. Yeah, and he's got a lot of dice. <laughs> he's got a lot of them. But I got my uh, my shields. Oh, jeez. I've only got two die, too. Come on, shields. Uh, well, it's nighttime, so maybe do some damage. But... Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. That isn't good. Ah. Well, didn't hang on to that <laughs> prestige lead for long. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Oh well. Maybe I should have just ran away from him more solidly there. Okay, so now I've got three prestige. And I have to... I'm wondering if I can... Let's see here. Maybe we'll just go here. And... Let's see if we can... Yeah, I can't afford the card anyway. I'm just going to end the turn. <clears throat> and it is daytime, day four. Now, I am the prestige leader. I grew tired so now we get to control. This is neat. So there are two laws. These are two laws the king has put forward for the prestige leader to select. So um, we could do a healing where we the king and the prestige leader gain one health or the king's rotten choir sings minus one body dwell heroes bane no i don't want that one no i'll take the uh yeah i'll take the life support but anyway controlling the king's declarations is a powerful position to hold i would like By this my name, take heed. all right so we gain uh he gains some health but so do we this can't be the same wise king who united the clans and ruled peacefully for a generation. I never thought I'd see this day, but there's nothing worse than madness. Wild save us from the king. And that ends the tutorial for part three. So that's really interesting. They, I like how they're just, they're gradually adding um, more dimensions and more, you know, obviously the characters. Um, but uh, now we're gonna move into the next character here which should be really interesting so yeah and this is definitely a, i think a great uh it has great potential to be played with uh with friends as well so a spirit stone is crystallized at bear's repose it's just as i have foreseen guards find every spirit stone go now all right so spirit stones that's a new thing all right, so here comes Thane. He's going to do his thing. Here comes Mercurio. He's going to run around and take a city. And Amber's going to take a city. And now it's Santa's turn. All right, Sister Santa, I will be brief. I'm sure you sense the darkness spreading. Old magic stirs, the power of the rot. The elders agree it has returned. This corruption must be purged before it manifests. If the banes are to rise again, all may be lost. So, okay. And uh, we've got a little companion here. Santa, I'm coming too, friend. Long time friend. I won't leave you now, friend. We are friends, right? I guess so. 
I uh, found this strange thing as a thing. It looks scary. What do you think it means? So a plague, play to a settlement or a swamp, plus one rot, poisoned until the end of next turn. Interesting. So the spell does not cost magic. Casting it will cause you to gain plus one rot. And so the rot level is a dark and powerful and destructive force. It consumes living energy. So I guess Santa is not the nicest character. When a hero gains their first point of rot, they are considered infected and will suffer negative one health every dawn. That sounds bad, Santa. Let's avoid the rot. Yeah, I would think so. Um, so that's a pretty powerful sabotage. Um, hey, so where are we going again? I forget. Me too. Uh, deep within the pits of our mellow, dark forces stir. The elders, the elders have ordered you to intervene, lest an eldritch bane emerge. Well, we wouldn't want that. So uh, let's intervene. And this gives us plus one body and plus one prestige to complete. So we got to get over there. All right. So I think we can just uh, do that, can't we? Just going to wander over. That's a spirit stone, Senna. We should grab it, keep it safe, maybe play with it a bit. And to those that gather the stones almighty shall come the ultimate power wild and purity that's what an old bear mumbled the, his breath smelt of fish so i didn't listen well collect the spirit stone oh do you feel that something bad is coming take this it might help you i had it tucked away just in case it's a little grubby so that's a flame play to a creature minus two health suns explode until the end of next turn so that's if the suns are rolled in the combat die i presume guess we'll find out so we get the spirit stone here a spirit stone yes can i touch it well we'll see so we got to match the symbols to avoid this uh lightning strike as well as playing or equipping cards you're able to burn cards in peril in perils or in battle each card has an armello symbol that matches one of the symbols on your on the dice burning a card locks in one of the your dice that as that cards are mellow symbol okay you burn cards by dragging and dropping them here uh, burn the aflame card to match the sun peril symbol okay so that's the symbol on the far right okay so it gives us an automatic uh, hit or automatic success on that i would have rolled this one probably but with there's this number of die but we'll see oh geez okay so we did take a hit. We couldn't quite meet the match, and it's the end of the turn. Oh, well. Um, all right. So we get our income, the rabbit. Yes. Yeah, Ms. Lady Amber. It is so. Oh. We got to pay two gold. We have it, so we don't have to lose a prestige. Yeah, interesting. Ha. <laughs> I imagine this will end with some sort of battle with the king. I think that'd be neat. But, oh, there's some fighting going on. And Lady Amber has to scoot, and she runs into the... Oh, jeez. She runs into the swamp and gets crushed. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Thane is the bruiser. Don't want to take on him on if you can possibly help it. Let's see what happens to uh, Mercurio. He... Avoids the peril. And the Amber encounters that peril and beats it. She gets something. A to oh, she gets some uh, some treasure, whatever. Okay, so I guess we press on to our original uh, quest, the Castle of Bellarine. Did you do you see that? I don't like this. I'm scared. Okay, well let's see what happens. I'm scared too, but dark influence. Oh, jeez, we gotta we gotta do a lot here. So burn cards or roll dice to match symbols. All right. Well, I guess I don't know. How, oh, shoot. Um, no, I guess we're just gonna roll the dice. <laughs> I burned one card. Ah, darn it. Plus one rot, plus one random rot on a spell card. Oh no, Santa, you've been ta tainted with rot. Don't turn purple, please. Yikes, okay. What does that mean? 
We awoke a sleeping terror. Oh boy, this is good. Jeez. What is that thing? Banes are corrupted creatures born of the rot. Any creature they kill, they infect with plus one rot. Okay. Santa's hero power uses her high spirit to battle corrupted creatures instead of her fight. Okay. So that's good. Um, so we use the spirit value instead. Creatures with higher rot than their opponent will receive their opponent's rot as bonus dice in the battle. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So they get an extra. The Bane has more rot than you in this battle, so it will gain your rot value and bonus dice. Oh, that's not good, but it's interesting. Okay, remember you can burn cards in battle to guarantee particular dice results. Uh, so, um, I don't know if we want to burn something here. I guess we can uh, burn this guy. Sure, let's just play that one, I, I guess. And we'll roll the dice for the rest. And let's see how we do. We get a oh, we get a bunch of hits. Not a lot on defense, but... Ow, 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 ow. But we got him. We took each other down. And he's going to give me another rot, I think, as a result. So that's not good. Oof. That was a KO. Oh, Bane, what horror. I never believed in the old bedtime stories, but they're real. So, wow. Yeah, I'm not doing that great here. So. Huh. So they're doing their running around. Yeah, as I, as I was saying earlier, I think this could be a really fun game um, with, uh, you know, say four, you know, four people. Um, especially if you're on the same, uh, you know, chat, could be a lot of fun to just make fun of each other or whatever. And uh, oh, hit a trap! All right, uh, what the? Take an item, I guess. Um, so, yeah, hot hot rot wine. So we gain one rot, but we gain an action point and negative one health. I don't see the benefit of that. Um, okay, we'll go back to Castle Balerion then. Why not? We had so much fun last time. I guess we had that terror that awoke. We're going to take some something here. We get some money. That's excellent. You're too late. The dungeon is filled with the shrieks of birthing banes. A cluster of them arise from the dark ichor around this, a strange artifact. Okay, so we can kill the banes before they form, or we can snatch the artifact. And we get the wildfire staff, plus one spirit, plus two magic every dawn. Okay, that seems pretty powerful. That seems all right. I've already got very high spirit, so 60% chance. Let's roll the die and see what happens. And we got it. That is good. Glad that's over. Let's get out of here. Say that again. All right, we're going to end our turn. Can I put that in the inventory there? Now yeah, we're doing well, but I, oh, I got to play that to a creature. Okay, that item is. Yeah, I haven't seen any sort of permanent creatures yet, but I, I assume. Perfect. It is. Oh, so. boy. <laughs> Jeez. Any here with rot suffers one negative one prestige. Well, I've got a couple of them, so. Jeez, that's not good. Um, but there's, you know, again, the mechanic that we saw in the first one, whereas if you attack any of the king's guards, you actually are become a, uh, a, a wanted outlaw. It's kind of neat. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, kind of neat mechanics going on here to keep things interesting from a storytelling perspective. Oh no, Mercurio, what has he done? Uh-oh. A hero becomes corrupted when they have five or more rot. Corrupted heroes still lose one health every dawn. Corrupted heroes gain dark power such as plus one health each time they kill another creature in battle. In addition, any creature corrupted by the rot will take damage equal to their rot if they enter a sacred stone circle. All right. Well, that's going to mean they're going to want to stay away from that. 
And Lady Amber wants some revenge. And it's, no, oh, tit for tat. Not too bad. Okay. I think we should probably take that spirit stone to the castle. Ah, oh, I don't know. Is that a good idea? Baines had returned to Armello, but so had spirit stones. Senna hastened to the palace. Surely the king would know what to do. I didn't think the king was too happy with uh, what was going on, but we will get an extra spirit and a prestige, and maybe he can cure the rot as well. So, all right, well, we're off. Um, oh boy. Mountains or swamp? Um, I think I'll take the mountains because I want to go to this healing place here. And can I get in through the castle walls? Oh, maybe not. Ran out of action points. So, I'm in a safe place. At least Mercurio isn't going to come after me here. Man, Thane and Amber, like, wow. They need to settle that grudge. That's brutal. And Thane is moving around and doing his thing. Encountering apparel. Takes over that settlement. And Mercurio doing his thing. Sneaking around and... And now it's finally... Uh, oh, it's Amber's turn. What's Amber going to do? Oh! Challenge a guard. Well, that's not good. Okay, so how in heck do I get into the castle? I guess I can't hop... Can I hop the walls? Lock the, lock the palace down. None shall enter. We must protect the kingdom. Sana, this palace seems different. The defenses are up. Doesn't the king know we have the spirit... We have a spirit stone? So palace gardens are protected by powerful palace perils. Ooh, the alliteration. Uh, that remain until defeated. Okay, so breaching the palace is difficult. Collect a good mix of cards in your hand and burn cards to improve your chances of success. Oh, okay, I guess, uh, I guess we're going to try this. Okay, so we get a bunch of die. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to just uh, play this. Oh, can I? this one there we go and we're gonna roll the dice because we don't have the other cards the other cards don't make any difference and we're gonna hope that we get one on the re-roll come on ah oh, jeez. and we're forced to retreat jeez ouch the palace is well protected only thing to do is try again breaching the palace is a difficult task each attempt uses up all remaining ap well that's fair here, use this strategist card on yourself and try entering the palace again. Uh, okay. So, let's do this. Thank you so much for the help. And we'll try entering the palace again. All right. And once again, we get a bunch of die and we'll put the hot rot wine there to get the one die. We only need the three results. And there we go. Quest accomplished. The peril is dangerous, but the king's guards' halberds are even more so. You try to explain yourself. They do not listen. Hand it over. So do we flee now? Or do we give them the spirit stone? Um, well, 60% chance. Sure, why not? Oh, we missed it. <laughs> Shoot. You hesitate, then hand over the stone. They seize it. Behind you, a rumbling voice chills your bones. Lock it in the dungeon. The king. That's our spirit stone, not yours. The king and his guard aren't trying to stop the rot. They're leading us to disaster. We can't let you leave, sister. If you come to the dungeons willingly, your death will be quick. Well, that sounds like a fair, fair deal. No, Sana, save me. I'm too hilarious to die. Well, wouldn't ta I wouldn't really say that, but... Wait, quick. Cast Banish on yourself. We can escape before it's too late. Okay. Well, I don't know where that spell came from, but let's do it. So we'll play to Creature Dungeon, Stone Circle. Teleport to the furthest dungeon. We have the magic, so let's do it. Let's banish. Banish ourselves. Now, where the heck did we turn up? Uh, where are we? We banished ourselves to the furthest dungeon. I don't even know where we are. It's so far away. 
Thank the wild, just in time, I can't believe it. Our king has been taken by the rot. Yeah. It's clear now that the king's days are numbers, but who is are numbered, but who's going to rule our mellow? Well, I'm hoping it's me. As the current prestige leader, Amber has been playing the political game. If the king's rot consumes his life while Amber is the prestige leader, she will achieve a prestige victory and claim the throne. Thane is heading towards a Kingslayer victory. He will need to breach the palace and attack the king directly. If Thane defeats the king in battle without dying, he'll be named King of Armello. Mercurio is trying to get his rot higher than the king's. If he attacks the king with a higher rot value and slays him, Mercurio will become the new Lord of Corruption. As you recall, if you've got a higher rot level, you get bonus die in battle. And to achieve a Spirit Stone victory, heroes first need to collect four spirit stones. With the stones, they must breach the palace and confront, confront the king, cleansing the kingdom of rot. Let's return and talk with the fish breath bears. They'll know what to do. Well, of course they will. And that sets the stage for Armello. But wait, there's more. From great horrors, great heroes emerge. Oh, I get an animation here. All right. Wonder who this is. Is this a new hero? Who knows? Yeah, we met that guy before. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Very dramatic. <clears throat> is that Thane? Oh, there's Thane. <clears throat> What's this all about? Some sort of crazy ritual going on right now. Hmm. A little tough to tell what's going on. bit tough. Oh, I see those are bandits. Oh, wow, he killed the frog. <laughs> Holy. Didn't expect that. Here comes the rot and Santa. I thought Santa was a bad character at first, but apparently not. Just as good as any of the others. And uses a spirit stone. Ah, neat. Okay. So with that, that ends the prologue and the tutorial for Armello. And uh, we, we hope that uh, you enjoyed this and got some value out of it and uh, are intrigued by this game. I know I am. It's a lot more uh, uh, interesting than I expected. And I'm looking forward to uh, giving this a playthrough. So uh, tune in for that. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, please like and subscribe. I'm Nato with Legendary Tactics. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.